Welcome to the SCADA tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create the alarms. Now create a new window. Name it as a alarm. Click on OK. Now insert the slider from the symbol wizard. Now insert one tank. For more icons, go to the symbol factory. Double click on it. And here you get the all the option that is safety, scales, segment pipes, sensors, tank cutways, tanks. Now here we insert the tank. So you can choose the any tank. So I am selecting this tank. Now we insert one alarm, one light, the stop hat siren. And when we create the alarm, we have to reset the alarm. So we have to insert the reset button. Here we select button with light. Now I'll give the tag an expression to the all the items we have selected. Now I'll first start from the slider. Here I'll give S1. Then label. That, that label appears here at the bottom of the slider I will give it as a tank level then we will fill the tank using the slider so I will give the same expression for the tank now as a regular practice, if you double click on the tank, then there are the no options. For that, you have to break the cells. On the break cells, then double click on that tank. Then we have to fill it in the percentage by vertically. So I'll click vertical percentage fill. I'll give it as expression S1. the background color for the tank then click on OK now for siren I'll get expression as a L1 I'll enable the blink. Here you can enable and disable the blink. When you click on enable blink, you have to give the condition when it will blink. And you also set the blink rate that is slow, medium, fast. We'll see it later.
my the text button we use the text button that button as a reset button so we'll give that is r1 tag name r1 then we give label as a reset and action we'll use the direct action means uh, there are the action that is set reset toggle direct reverse when you choose direct action then when the alarm comes if you'll push the button reset button then it will be reset only and only if it will come down to that alarm level the tank levels come down to danger zone click on ok now for operating the whole function we have to give the window script for window script you have to right click on the window at any place and go to the window script then there are condition types file showing on show and on hide uh, for on show I will give I will put here L1 equal to 0 and while showing how to put the program here I will set 1 millisecond if S1 greater than or equal to 60 then L1 equals to 1 and if if R1 equals to 1 then L1 equals to 0 here I will explain what is the program if S1 is greater than or equal to 60 means when the tank level is greater than the 60% or equal to 60% then L1 will set as 1 means the alarm will start and when we press the reset button then the alarm will stop then the light will off but if the tank level is above 60% and you press the reset button then it will be not off click on OK then we'll run the program go to the runtime now you can see here there is a somewhat tank level is a fill in the percentage now as I fill the tank above the 60 percent the light will on that is it gives alarm that the tank level is above danger now we try to reset the alarm but when we reset it it comes again and again because the tank level is not decreases yet when we decrease the tank level below the 60 now we now we can reset the alarm here it is reset when we again tank level is go above the 60 percentage then again the alarm cups comes up and if reset it will not reset in this way we can create the alarms in wonderware in touch and we can use it in the SCADA system in the next tutorial we will see how to obtain the historical trend of that alarms and how to obtain the graph thank you for watching subscribe for more tutorials